Outdoors is not in season, but we've certainly entered the period of time where many of us like to get out there and prepare a meal. Joining me is Bridget Bullinger, a registered dietitian with North Dakota Beef Commission, and she's here to discuss one of my favorites, the grilled burger. Good morning, Bridget. Good morning. All right, let's talk about the weather. We've been so blessed throughout the year, and I think a lot of North Dakotans like to grill, whether it's January or July. I agree, and walking around a neighborhood, you can certainly smell those oh. people who are out there grilling year-round. And if somebody is, it doesn't matter the month, and you step outside, you're going, oh, I smell burgers or I smell whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, last time you were here, we talked about corned beef. It was mm -hmm. during the time leading up to St. Patrick's Day. But today we're going to talk about burgers. Overall, do you think burgers get a bad rap? I don't know. I think it's hard to beat a burger. No, I do too. Um, but people, you know, can be more conservative about their fat intake and then think that as um, a result that burgers aren't a good choice, but mm -hmm. they really are a wonderful choice for many people to consume beef and to enjoy a really healthy meal. You know, you go to the grocery store and you look at hamburger and they've got different fat contents and mm -hmm. things like that. Is there a recommendation that you guys might make as far as which which kind of beef you should buy as far as hamburger or, or is it just personal taste? Yeah, when you're looking at ground beef, there are different splits. Mm -hmm. um, 85, 15, right. 90, 10, depending on what the ratio is you're looking for. Um, there can be more taste, obviously, with right. a little more fat content, but it really is a personal preference on what your application is and what you're looking for with that item. Okay, let's say you're making a, a, a casserole or something like that. Maybe you don't want as much fat mm -hmm. content in there, but mm -hmm. as far as making a burger on mm -hmm. the grill, Maybe an 85-15 is, is the way to go. Yeah, to really get that juicy mm -hmm. hamburger taste, yep. Yep. All right, let's talk about protein. The, the, the amount of protein that A, a person should have, and B, what we get from a burger. Right. Um, a burger is really a great source of protein, mm -hmm. and it also comes kind of in a preset serving. So most people think of a quarter pounder. Um, so using that quarter pound beef patty really kind of sets your amount that you're having, um, so it works really good for a serving size. And then two, you're getting your 25 to 30 grams of protein, and then depending on what you pair it with, you can really um, have good accents for your meal to get your fruits and vegetables and your whole grains and kind of balance it all out. Shame on you, Bridget, for bringing those pictures. I know. They, they look delicious, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, so colorful. Okay, let's talk about some, a, a good for you burger. What would you recommend as far as something that's probably, you know, if, if you are concerned about, you know, the, the fat and things like that, what would you consider mm -hmm. a good for you burger? So use your quarter pound burger okay. and then make sure that your bun or if you put it in a wrap or whatever you're doing with it, that you're using a whole grain um, whole, or whole wheat item and then pairing in some fruits and vegetables, so tomato slice, lettuce or spinach, right. um, using avocado, things like that can kind of increase the nutrient density of your item that you're eating. You know, and I like I like tomato, a sliced tomato, I like onion, and I also like a little mayonnaise, and I know that probably takes no, you to the other, but you're good. <laughs> it's a treat, you know, yeah. to go that way. So, you know, is there something, is there a particular way you especially like a burger? What are some of the condiments you like on it? Um, myself, I like, yeah, a good hamburger. Yeah. I like a slice of avocado, mm -hmm. slice of cheese. Uh, never hurts to add a little bacon on there for extra flavor. So um, it's unique to each person, and that's why it's kind of fun, especially for families or if you're feeding a group. Mm -hmm. um, you can set up a burger bar and have your different variety of toppings, and um, people might not even put them all on the burger, but you know, end up making a salad or something sure. on the side. So. Well, and we're almost out of time here, but the hamburger is so versatile. It can be used in so many different ways, and that's what that's just one of the beauties right. of hamburger. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Beef, it's what's for dinner. It is what's for <laughs> dinner. And tell us if we have more information that we want to check into as far as beef, hamburger, corned beef, whatever it is, how do we find that, Bridget? You can always go to our website, ndbeef.org. We have great tips and tricks and many recipes. All right, thanks for joining us. It's always fun to talk to you. Now I, I need to go out and grab a burger somewhere. <laughs> yep, sounds good. Thanks so much. Thanks. All right, we're taking a break. We'll be back. We've got more coming up on North Dakota Today right after this.